hey hey Michelle here from soul pours and today we're doing a kitchen sink pour <laughs> so I have a bunch of colors um, that needed to be used up very pretty colors and um, I'm going to be recycling as well to 24 by 24 uh, level three canvases. I've got one on the table and one is all prepped to go. These were really cool pours before I used actually house paint so then I ended up gessoing them. Um, don't mind the laundry because my studio is in the basement so you can probably hear the laundry going. Um, but um, yeah, I love them. Uh, they But they just needed to be repurposed because something else wanted to come through. So let me show you the colors. Okay, here's the hodgepodge kitchen sink of colors. <laughs> I think we've got 13 here. Inclu yeah, 13. So these were from a lot of other leftover pours um, that these aren't flow extenders, but like I like to sometimes just pour with flow extenders, but these are leftovers. So this is a kind of permanent uh, violet dark looking color. A purpley color. <laughs> Another purpley color. I'm, I apologize. I can't tell you what um, brands and what everything, because honestly, uh, this is, we're just, this is like pretty much, let's just pour it out and see what happens because all of these colors, um, I have this little thing over here that's got, you know, paints, um, mixes that I did before and I had some people over and we were doing some pours and I kind of mixed everything together, like between, uh, brands and <laughs> pouring mediums and types. So there could be some cloud pour um, mixes in here. There could be just regular Floetrol and Liquitex. There, there's definitely mix that I added to a lot of these to thicken them because I wanted to do um, a ring pour with negative space. Uh, and I have a little idea that I'm going to play with afterwards, but we'll see what happens once I get pouring. Uh, so this is really like literally throw it on the canvas and see what happens because I don't know what is what here <laughs> what the original intention of these colors was but today they're intended to go on that canvas <laughs> okay so we've got this really pretty um very bright red I think this might be like a naphthol red kind of this corally orange this corally pink uh, a beautiful 24 karat gold. Woo, that's thick. But you know what? I'm going to keep it thick because I want gold lines. Uh, this, again, the camera does not pick up aquas, but this is more of a green aqua. We've got a metallic y sapphire type of blue, cobalt blue, uh, gorgeous gold green. This is kind of like. Mm, it's a little thinner, but I already tried to thicken this one up a little bit more, but um, we're just going to leave it as it is. It's kind of like a mm, robin's egg. You can, I don't know if you can see the gold flash in there. It's kind of like a robin's egg blue. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a very, very light teal gold yummy color. <laughs> okay, so, and again, these were all, a lot of these were mixed with other ones. So again, I apologize that I can't be more specific. Good old Payne's Gray. I uh, did not put gold in this one. And this is the kind of raffle white. <laughs> so I added a little bit of Artist Loft and some mix to this. But I do believe this had some satin enamel. So this could be a cloud a cloud white.
popping in here for a sec as I'm popping some bubbles. As you know, I love to show the uh, close-up details here. And um, there's a lot of colors. As you know, there was 12 or 13 in this, um, as I showed the colors in, in the beginning. Um, so as I'm tilting here, I am... My goal here is to have some negative space. And as well as you saw, there's a lot of um, lines of colors in here. There was that area kind of below the, the deep kind of corally red color there that had looked like it had some really interesting tri striations, but it also looked like a little too busy. So what I'm attempting to do here is take that part off so that I can open up the other colors above that are a little bit more distinct, those the reds and the blues and the oranges and the yellows. And, um, so that's what I'm going for here. Um, and sorry, my computer was just telling me something. Um, so spoiler alert, um, I do end up doing many more pours. Well, not many more. <laughs> the gift of exaggeration. Uh, uh, not a gift. It's probably the nervousness of narration, actually. <laughs> so I do end up re-pouring on this piece, uh, but I will give a close-up before I show the next stage of it, just because the lines, those striations of color in this, even though I end up pouring over on it, I just really, really, really enjoyed um, the striations of color. So let me show you those next. All right, here this piece is done. <laughs> this was really funny. You know what that what this was from? There was um, that part that I had um, uh, sanded down because there was some glob of paint on the previous canvas. So it kind of created this funny whoop de doop de thing going on. <laughs> Anyway, there are so many colors here. I intentionally, with those 12 colors, layered um, them to be, you know, less color. What am I trying to say here? I layered less amounts and many layers of paint because so, I wanted to get this really fun mix. And yeah, the blue base is coming through a little bit, almost like a pearl, but that's all right, you know? <laughs> I love this red uh, area here with those really funky cells that are popping through that are like, they're so not clouds or pearls. They're just like funky. <laughs> funky is all get out like boulder somethings. Anyway, yeah, they're lots of fun. Yeah, so, and we've got the little negative space there with that uh, pretty slate blue.
Okay, so here is this one. <laughs> Again, these colors are really, all 12 of them in this one are just fun. Really making me uh, feel lots of feels. Look at those like fingerlings there. There is a whole spectrum of feelings and energy um, in this soul pour. And um, as you saw in the video, I did a lot of things to try to keep this center and the fingerlings. I mean, they're just so funky. Look at all of those mix of colors and then also with that blue in there. So one thing about this um, that I find interesting is that they're for <laughs> these are the same paints that I used in the last one, but for this one, for some reason, there's flocculation going on. And you know what? Honestly, like, you know, a lot of painters and fluid artists would say, oh, flocculation is all flocked up and it screws the painting up. I like it. Sometimes I really, ooh, whoa, look at that sparkle. Sometimes I really like it because look at the texture that it adds. I mean, doesn't that look like I don't know, like underwater, seaweedy, or um, it just it adds a lot of interest and texture to the paints. So I'm okay with it, really. You can, I'm showing you another area up here, and even there's some a little bit there, too. Seems to be something going on a little bit with the... Well, I'm guessing, guessing here because it's here in the whites along with, you know what, I can't even guess here because like I said, there's 12 colors in this. I'm, I don't know what the name of this piece is, but like, doesn't that look like something you could scuba dive into? <laughs> so this is the redo of the first one in the kitchen sink <laughs> series. These are 24 by 24s. And I, this one was re-poured onto the first one. Oh, look at these colors up here. I love this little, like, random yellowy green line there. <laughs> I mean, the colors are just phenomenal. I really, really love all of the mix of the, you know, the cools and the deeps and the warms and everything. So, um, but also because I poured this on top of the previous painting... Um, there's a lot of these, you know, I got, I got the previous painting in here. So I think what I'm going to do actually, when this dries, I'm going to take some of that flow extender and I'm going to paint in these, um, yeah, I'll probably do all four corners. I love this yellow. Where did that yellow come from? Pray tell. <laughs> but I'm going to do some paint in some negative space into the four corners kind of like you know how that one is just so we can mellow out some of the squiggly lines here um because there's also you know we got some squiggle fire going on here but uh i think that's going to really help the composition of it but i'm also going to see how it looks when it dries Thank you.